Yesterday Frontier dropped some details about the additions coming to Elite Dangerous Odyssey in Update 8 and we're breaking them down right now. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe. Remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. Yesterday was FDev's regular Tuesday Super Cruise news livestream and rather than the regular duo community manager format the stream takes the show instead featured Zach from the CM team and principal programmer Dominic Corner. The stream kicks off with an interesting chat together with some diagrammatic examples to show how the mission system flows in Odyssey's on foot sections and how the placement of missions in the galaxy is handled. The stream then moved on to talk about the new new additions to Odyssey. In the opening parts of this section Dominic spoke about the new flee feature that will be present in some assassination mission targets. Commanders will be made aware via an inbox message that the assassination target is a flee risk and should the target get wind of the fact that you're there to give them an early bath they will attempt to run calling down a ship and heading into supercruise. Further if you commit a crime at a settlement once you leave there is now a chance that bounty hunters will be immediately dispatched to interdict you and attempt an early bath scenario of their own. The livestream then progressed to show its first piece of update 8 in game footage the clip demonstrating a commander completing a collection mission by talking to an NPC contact in the settlement rather than just opening a box and extracting the mission specific object. This system can also work with a delivery mission. Frontier are at pains to point out that the current implementation of the system is in a fairly bare bones format and the plan is to flesh out and add more detail to the interactions going forward as Odyssey progresses. This would allow for more interactable NPCs at settlements making way for conversation trees and more detailed missions overall. Hold on to that thought for a moment. That's actually a really important point and I'll return to that in a second. Next the stream went on to show images of the 4 new engineers being added to the Colonia region along with details of what mods they'll be offering. In summary all the mods available in the bubble will be available via all the engineers in Colonia as well once they are unlocked. Zach then went on to show the new emote wheel interface and the point emote in action from a first person perspective. The point emote is one of the context specific emotes and it leaves a tag on the HUD of whatever you've just pointed at allowing you to track that objects position even when it's not in line of sight. Zach also noted that emotes can be bound to separate keybinds as can access to the emote wheel itself. Zach was again keen to stress that the emote system is very much the first iteration of the system and that further features and tweaks will be added to it going forward based on player feedback. The next big reveal from the stream was in game footage of the new mega ship interior space. The 2 minute or so segment showed a full tour of a megaship social space. Whilst the area very much reflects the established aesthetic of a starport interior it was by design more confined and had a slightly more functional and less luxurious and spacious feel to it than the other Brewer Corporation installations that we've seen. Sporting far fewer details like pot plants and advertisement hoardings and featuring a darker more subdued feel with some exposed pipe work etc. There's also some familiar bay windows in the bar area that show the exterior of the ship including the large rotating wheel that we've seen featured on some megaships. The megaship shown featured familiar services like Pioneer Supplies, Vista Genomics, Apex Interstellar, Frontline Solutions and Inter Astra but not all megaships will offer all services and the internal layout of the social space will differ depending on the services that are available within. Interior colour palettes will also change depending on the economy of the megaship. Megaships will also feature what Frontier are calling an escape pod that you can interact with. Because megaships move there is a danger that if you log out on one you could log back in and find yourself a hundred light years away from where you want to be. Interacting with the escape pod will return you immediately to the last safe place that you docked at. 
As best we can tell this is a fade to black transition rather than something like an Apex shuttle with associated travel time in between. I said I'd return to the point from earlier about Frontier stating that the NPC settlement interaction was a framework that they would then expand on, flesh out and build upon. Zack also made similar comments about the emote system. A couple of really important observations from this. I've said before on this channel that whilst it has never been explicitly stated we've always suspected that Odyssey as a product was going to be a framework to be built upon and fleshed out as it matured. This very much follows the trend established with the base game and then the Horizons expansion in the early days and these comments from Dominic and Zack would seem to add weight to that idea. Also and this we found really striking the fact that Frontier are now talking about feature development in these terms and about new features that are in development but not yet in the game whilst it might seem like a small thing is fairly groundbreaking for a company that has traditionally been very information phobic when it comes to Elite Dangerous in particular. There's a saying going around here at the Burr Pit Homestead these days that it's starting to feel like maybe we're not dealing with the same frontier that we have done in the past. They are much more open and communicative with the community about development details for their flagship space simulator and that's a healthy sign. Long may it continue. So what did you think of the new settlement NPC interaction framework and what it could mean for missions in the future? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.